Hello everybody, in this video I want to help you solve this three dots issue when you try to use Oculus Link uh, with your PC. So I'm using the VR Link cable, the official one, and it doesn't connect. And I want to play a PC VR game, but I just can't because I can't get to the Oculus Link screen. My first tip to you is make sure you use the official Oculus uh, VR Link cable. The reason for that, of course, because it's certified and verified to work with the Quest 2 VR headset. And if you use something else, maybe this is one of the reasons why it doesn't work. Now, sometimes the easiest solution is the solution. And basically, before you even start all the other things, make sure to restart your PC, check if it works for you. For me, by the way, in one of the times, it actually solved the issue. And then let's go and try all the other more complicated solutions. So again, restart your PC, see if it works. If not, let's move on. Next thing, check that the cables are properly connected. Maybe they are a bit loose. Make sure to do it both for the headset and for the PC. Next, make sure to launch the Oculus app. Make sure that is actually running. If you see that it doesn't run and you can maximize the window, a control shift escape, go to the task manager and end the tags for the app and try again. Again, after each of these steps, you can try connecting again and see if it works for you. If you can connect to the PC and the Oculus app inside the headset runs. Next thing, we're going to run the USB test connectivity inside the Oculus app on Windows. So open the app, go to devices, click the device, and then click USB test. Now, if you get an issue here, the problem is probably with the cable not being connected properly or the cable just not good fit. Uh, so you need to use a certified one, as I mentioned before. Now, of course, this is necessary because without proper connectivity, you won't be able to connect the Quest to your headset to your PC. At this point, if you still can connect, I recommend restarting the headset as well or shutting it down and turning it back on. Keep in mind, and this is important, when you are connecting the USB cable to your PC and to the headset, make sure to improve the connectivity inside the headset. And this is true every time, you know, the connection is loose or you disconnect the cable, make sure to check the headset because otherwise the PC won't recognize the headset and vice versa. Next thing we're going to check that VRLink is actually enabled in the headset. For that, we need to go to quick settings, again, wear the headset and quick this area, quick settings. Next, click system. And after that, in the left side sidebar, click quest link. And make sure the quest link is actually active. If it's active, it's blue. If it's gray, it's not. If it's not active, turn it on by just clicking this button over there. After that, we're gonna click this button below and we need to check that Earl link is turned off because if Earl link is turned on, this means that the VR link using the cable is, won't be able to connect. So you need to make sure that this is actually turned off means great. Now try to launch again and see if it works for you. Again, if it works, you're going to see uh, something like that, a different UI that is for the Oculus Link. Now another important thing to note is make sure to update your Oculus software on your PC and your MetaQuest headset to the latest firmware. For the Windows uh, app, you need to go to meta.com uh, uh, slash quest slash setup and download the software from there. To update the headset, quick uh, inside the headset, quick settings, go to settings and in the left sidebar, scroll to software update. And if there's an update on the right side, you're going to see uh, a button. This is uh, blue, just update the headset. So again, when the restart, the headset is restarted, make sure just the way the connection is approved inside the headset and try to connect again and see if it works. All right, the next one is something from Reddit. It didn't work for me, but it might work for you. I'm just sharing it here as well as part of the solutions. So basically this is uh, using the Oculus Diagnostic app, uh, which uh, you can find it in the default for the location, which I uh, mentioned in part two here. Uh, then you need to uh, uh, check where encode resolution width is located and set it to uh, 2,784 or less. So again, if nothing else works for you, maybe this might be a solution. Again, it didn't work for me, but I'm just sharing it here. And by the way, if you're already there uh, in this uh, diagnostic app, you can actually press a uh, service. And if you look at the top, you have the option to restart Oculus service, start and stop. So you can do restart Oculus service as well and try to connect again. Another thing that one user mentioned somewhere, I remember is uh, just go to the 
Oculus up on Windows, go to settings, and if you go to beta, just opt out for the public test channel. Maybe, you know, if you opt in, there might be some issues with it. So you can just opt out and see if it works for you as well. Again, in every step, you can check out the connection with the real link and check if it's working well. And make sure again that the link once connected to the PC, uh, you improve it inside the headset. And this is it. I hope one of these tabs actually help you solve the issues. If you find other solutions, let us know in the comment section below. And if it didn't work again, share it. And if you have other issues, share it. I will try my best to help you out. And this is it for this video. Give a like if you find this one useful and if it helped for you. And um, yeah, consider maybe subscribing to my channel and check out my VR channel as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.